Hi everyone and welcome to our second lesson looking at function machines. Now last week we began to look at a function machine that did one operation. If you remember last week we had a number which was the input. When we put the number into the machine we just had one operation before we came to the output which was the answer. Now last week the operation we, look, we had was an add or a plus. We put the number in we added the, the uh, number to the number that was in the machine and we had an output. We also looked at the fact that when we had an output number, which is an answer, and it went through the machine, we had to do the inverse operation. And we looked at the inverse of add being subtract. Well, this week we're going to take it one step further. Because this week, our function machine is doing two operations. So we're going to have a look at the first two together. And then I want you to try and finish number three, four, five, six, seven and eight yourself. So let's go. So the first number I'm putting in, my input number, is the number three. Three is going into the machine. It's going into the input, in, uh, the function machine, and we're going to add 21. Now I've got to think, how can I do that? Well, I think I can add 3 in my head. I think I can do that mentally by counting on. So I've got 21, add 3, 22, 23, 24. I'm going to pop that 24 down on my piece of paper I've got at the side. For me to make my notes. So I popped it down so I don't forget because I, if you like me I forget lots of things and I've got that now so I'm not going to forget. But that's not my answer because my function machine this time the tube is carrying on and I'm going into another section that tells me to do something else and this time it's saying times two. So I know I've got a times by two. Now, what do I times by two? Well, I don't times the three by two because I've already put that in and I've already added it to 21. So it's the 24 that I've jotted down. That's what I've got a times by two. Now, I can times by two, but I can remember from a couple of weeks ago when we looked at doubling and halving, the times two is the same as saying double. So I can say double 24. I may be able to do that in my head. If I can't, I'm going to use my double in diamond. I'm going to pop my 24 down again, split my number, expand my number. The 2 is worth 20, the 4 is worth 4. I'm going to double each of those. Double 4 is 8, double 20 is 40. Put them back together, and my answer is 48. So my answer to number 1. And I've already put it in, is 48. So I would just pop my answer in, 48. Now, number two, I haven't got an input number, but I do have an output number. So if you remember, I have now got to put the number in backwards and I have to do the inverse operations. So let's go. 60 into my machine and I come to times 2 but hang on I don't times by 2 I've got to do the inverse so what's the inverse of times or multiply everybody shout it out are you ready after 3 1 2 3 that's right it's divide so I've got 60 and I know I've got to divide 60 by 2 now, I also remember from my doubling and halving that dividing by 2 is the same as saying half. So my 60 is going in, half a 60. How am I going to work that out? Well, I think I can do that in my head. I know my halving and 60 is an easy one to half. But I'm going to pop that down. So half a 60 is 30. I'm going to pop it down on my piece of paper so I don't forget. And I'm going to carry on through my machine. Remember, we're going from the output to the input. So I've done the inverse of times, divide, 
Now I'm coming into my next section, telling me to add 21. Do I add 21? No, nope, you're right. I have to do the inverse. And what's the inverse of add? Shout it out now. Well done. It's subtract or take away. So I've got 30 take away 21. How am I going to do that? Well, I can use a number line and I can count on, find the gap between 21 and 30. That would be a good way. Or I can do it as my sum. We looked at them last week. I'm going to do a compact version. You could do the expanded version if you want to check out the video from last week. Look and you can check it out on our YouTube channel. But I'm going to do it this way. Now, I remember last week we said this three is with three tens. And the three is going to help the units next door because I haven't got any units, so I can't take one away. So the three tens becomes two tens and the one ten goes next door. So now I've got ten take away one is nine, but two take away two is nothing. So this is my answer, nine. So I'm putting it through. And there you go, I put nine, so I put nine as my answer.